Greedy, Kate leaks Meg's snubbed queen asking to focus on family over royal duty. She wants to steal the throne, but failed. Royal families over the generations haven't had the chance to get those foundations right, but they have. Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis are being raised differently than other royal children, and Prince William and Kate Middleton's hands-on approach to parenting was given the blessing of Queen Elizabeth and King Charles. In this week's cover story, a close source tells people that the Prince and Princess of Wales consciously set out to achieve a sense of normality for their three children. The couple was expressly given permission by Queen Elizabeth and the then Prince Charles to focus on family above royal duties when George, Charlotte, and Louis were young. Royal families over the generations haven't had the chance to get those foundations right, but they have. While Queen Elizabeth and King Charles were largely raised by governesses as their parents focused on the royal roles, Prince William and Kate lived a fairly ordinary life as new parents to Prince George. They lived in a former farmhouse on the coast of Angsley in North Wales, where William worked as a search and rescue helicopter pilot. The prince drove himself to the base at Ariel Valley, stopping for candy in a newspaper at convenience stores on the way while Kate looked after their son. In March 2015, as Prince William began work as a pilot at the Air Ambulance Service in Cambridge, the family took up country life in Amber Hall, where they continue to spend much of their holidays. George, Charlotte, and Louis do join the royal family on outings such as Trooping the Color, and they all attend their grandfather King Charles' coronation, but despite the children's royal roles, Kate, who grew up outside of the royal family, ensures that her kids' childhoods are as normal as possible especially George, who is second in the line of succession behind his father and will become king one day. Coming from a different background, she appreciates the importance of having family time. She wasn't brought up in that aristocratic setting where you see the children for a short time each day. Princess Kate and Prince William, both 41, regularly drive the children to school and make sure at least one of them are at home most evenings for their return. And the family is not afraid to get a little messy either. Whether they're cooking pizza or playing outside, the Princess of Wales said in an interview on the Happy Mom, Happy Baby podcast in 2020 that she's happiest when I'm with my family outside in the countryside and we're all filthy dirty. And Prince William is a big fan of his wife's normality. Those children look pretty happy with life, a palace insider tells People in this week's cover story. A lot of it is the stabilizing normality that Kate brings, and that's how she grew up. William absolutely loves it. The Queen has granted Harry and Meghan Markle a dukedom, just like she did for Prince William and Kate Middleton in 2011. The bride and groom will now be known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Along with the inevitable discussions surrounding royal surnames, Markle's new prestigious title also brings up questions around succession rights and the line to the throne. Could Markle ever become Queen? In short, it's highly unlikely, and that's because the succession to the British throne is regulated through descent which means those marrying into the royal family do not acquire succession rights. For example, the line of succession does not include the Duchess of Cambridge, as she is married into the royal family and is not in the royal blood. Harry's position in the current line of succession is also important. When the Queen passes away, or as she did, Harry's father, Prince Charles, will succeed his mother as he is her oldest son. Charles' oldest son, Prince William, is second in line, and after new rules of succession remove the male bias, he is followed by his three children, George, then Charlotte, and then the newest addition to the family, Louis. That puts Harry sixth in line, which means the chances of him ever ascending to the throne are very slim. 